Are Fortnite skins worth it? Hey guys, welcome back to Light Skin Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about are Fortnite skins worth it? I'm going to be talking about a few things that I think about Fortnite skins and things that you guys should consider before purchasing Fortnite skins and are they worth it? We're going to determine that in this video, so let's get started. So first, we need to look at a couple things before we decide whether Fortnite skins are worth it. How much does a skin actually cost? Now, there's multiple ways you can obtain a skin in the game Fortnite. Fortnite skins are highly valued by the community that Fortnite has created. Cosmetics are a super big thing and they've done a really good job in creating them. But are they actually worth it to our community? Are they all hype? Are they overpriced? Are they underpriced? We need to look at that. So to understand that, we need to see how much does a skin cost. Skins in the item shop, where most people are looking at skins, are 1,500 to 2,000 V-Bucks. Now assuming that 1,000 V-Bucks in the States at US dollar is $10, so you're looking at $10 US for 1,000 V-Bucks, you're going to be paying $15 US for one skin, and that's a cheaper skin in the item shop. That's like some of the cheapest skins are that price. Now they go up to twenty dollars or two thousand V bucks. So for one skin, you're going to be paying fifteen US out of the item shop, without the cosmetic extras like your pickaxe, your back bling, etc. You don't get the whole kit. You don't get the whole set. You just get the skin for that price. So that's how much a skin costs: fifteen dollars US, or around just over uh, seventeen dollars or eighteen dollars Canadian, in and around there. That's how much you're spending on one skin. Um, so what you have to consider as a Fortnite player is even if you're default think about this How long do you play? How long do you play? Do you play three hours a day? Do you play nine hours a day? Do you play nine hours a week or do you play 20 hours in a day? Some people have the time to do that believe it or not You need to know how much time you're investing in this game if you're investing tons of time in the game And you've already got the value out of the game itself Maybe it's okay to invest the extra 20 bucks because you're going to get 20 bucks out of enjoyment. But before you spend that 20 bucks, you have to ask yourself a question. What does it do? Absolutely nothing. It makes you look cool. That's it. It doesn't help you become a better shooter. It doesn't make your controller batteries last longer. It doesn't make you have better audio on your headset. You could be investing this $15 US to put towards your console or your PC, maybe upgrading the RAM, getting a better mouse, getting a better controller, getting a better headset. $15 US over three skins? That's a lot of money we're talking about here, guys. So you have to ask yourself, what does it do for you? And also when we're asking that question, what does it do in the game? Does it have flaming effects or anything like that? Does it do anything special that other skins don't? That is a huge question for us in deciding if the Fortnite skin is worth it or not. So I want to go over a few things to consider before you make your purchase. We need to talk about the battle pass. <laughs> the battle pass is the best value on Fortnite for money spent. 950 V bucks and you can get multiple skins with the whole kit. We're talking the pickaxe, the back bling, the skin, everything. Dances, emotes, all that included for 950 V bucks. It's a steal of a deal. If you're investing time in the game and you don't have a lot of money, the battle pass is where you invest it, okay? And that's only gonna cost you $10 US, not even 15 for the one skin. You're going to get multiple skins. So if you're a default or someone that just wants to get lots of skins and isn't buying the battle pass, you need to be buy buying the battle pass. But let's just say, hey, I have the battle pass. I think I want this skin that's in the item shop. Maybe it was John Wick. Maybe it was, uh, I don't know, Skull Trooper. And you have to ask yourself, how long is the newness of this skin like how long till it wears off how long till the newness you know like you know when you got that toy when you were a kid and you're like oh i really love this toy this toy is the best and you played with it for like a week hardcore and then the next week you didn't touch it and then it ended up going in the garbage that's kind of what happens with skins the newness wears off and you stop caring about it so how long is that going to last for you also is it all hype is it a skull trooper hype is it uh recon hype or whatever you know all these hype skins they're all hyping them up do you even like the skin or is it everybody around you? Oh my gosh, the Skull Trooper skin. Do, did you even think that skin's cool when you're looking at the other cool glowy skins? Is that like, do you know what I'm saying? Is it just hype? Is it for you? You can only wear one skin at a time here. 
unless you're switching skins every game and if you are doing that the chances are you're not going to be putting the hours into that skin specifically to make it worth the money you can only wear one skin at a time that's just something you have to consider too like like if you have 10 skins like just rotate through them you don't need an 11th skin okay if you really want it go ahead i've personally purchased the skin out of the item shop and the only reason i purchased it and this is going to make sense because it looked like me it was the only skin that ever came out that looked like me it was the closest that anything's come out on a video game that looked like me so i was like Oh man, I gotta buy this skin. Like, like it's the once in a lifetime thing. Like, I'm gonna look like me on the game. That's awesome, right? Like something like that. That's where I had a personal connection, and I wear that skin all the time. I've gotten my twenty dollars US out of that skin. Another thing you have to consider is the starter pack. The starter pack is a great value. If you already have the battle pass and you're looking in the item shop, you're like, eh. Well, think about it. You're gonna get your starter pack with a skin and the whole kit. Plus, you're going to get V-Bucks. Like, come on, guys. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. You could t spend that $20 US and spend it on Save the World. And you could get your V-Bucks back out of that and spend it on the skin that you want in the item shop. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not viable to buy stuff out of the item shop. I think that's the thing when you're looking at are they worth it. At the end of the day, if you don't have the money or don't have the position to do it, buying out of the item shop is not the place to be spending your money or your V-Bucks. The only people that are exempt from this rule are streamers, YouTubers, pro players, and people that have a crazy amount of disposable income. So are Fortnite skins worth it? Yes, they are 100% worth it. They're awesome. They hype you up every season. It makes the game awesome. But you need to be wary of where you're buying your Fortnite skins from to make it worth it. Unless you have a lot of money, the item shop is not where to shop unless you have a strong personal connection with that skin. If you don't have a strong personal connection with any of those skins, you need to get your first battle pass, then your starter pack, and then consider buying Save the World to get some V-Bucks. I hope you learned something from this video and let me know what skins you plan on buying in the comment section below. My supporter creator code is Sheldon905 and you can check me out on Twitch Light Skin Gaming. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Lots of love. Take care.